Welcome back, grade 10. Welcome to our second lesson, which is seismic waves and epicenters. So in this lesson, we will be talking about um, the causes of, of earthquakes and uh, the epicenters of earthquakes, which is just which is, which, which is the area just above the origin of the earthquake. So before that, that um, I, I would just like to remind you that in lesson number one, we studied about the different layers of the Earth with a focus on the crust. No? So we talked about the thinnest layer of the Earth uh, because this layer is where we live on. Right? So ito yung pinaka nakaka affect sa atin talaga. And you learned that um, or the rocks uh, on, on, on the surface of the Earth, para siyang itlog na nilaga na yung, yung shell niya parang ganun pala yung crust. No? And we call them the tectonic plates. And you also learned that these plates are actually moving. No? They are moving at, at yung speed ng movement nila ay parang yung speed ng pagtubo ng kuko mo in a year or yung pagtubo ng buhok mo in a year. So, iba-iba yung, yung speed nila. This time, we will be talking about a, a phenomenon or a, a geologic event that most of us here in the Philippines are very, very much aware of. And that is this. So, this is an earthquake, no? So, tingnan yung babae dyan. So, there is an earthquake happening there and you can see that the ground is moving and she's having difficulty moving around, no? Hindi niya alam kung saan siya pupunta. So, um, that is just, oh, may dumaan pa. So, that is um, one of the effects of earthquakes, but we all know that there are several devastating effects of earthquakes. Now, paano nga ba nagkakaroon ng earthquakes? Now, earthquakes happen uh, initially or originally doon sa ilalim ng lupa. So, ang unang-unang nangyayari dyan, there is the creation of what we call seismic waves. So, ano ba yung seismic waves na yan? So, let us talk about this, seismic waves. So, seismic waves are actually waves of energy. No? So, nagsisimula ang earthquake, magkakaroon ng earthquake because there's an energy. And it's in the form of waves no? uh, that travel through the Earth's layers. No? Nagtatravel siya <clears throat> doon sa layers, sa different layers of the Earth. And bakit nagkakaroon? Saan nagagaling itong waves of energy na to? It, it happens or it is, uh, it is caused by a sudden breaking of rocks. No? So yung malalaking bato, malalaking, uh, malalaking tipak ng bato sa ilalim ng earth, kapag sila po ay suddenly or biglaan or abruptly, nabali or nabasag or nagbreak, so pwedeng mag-create ng seismic wave. No? Yung paggalaw na yun or yung pagkakabitak-bitak ng lupa na yun or paggalaw ng mga, ng mga bato na yun sa ilalim ng lupa, that sudden break, breaking of rocks inside the earth or within the earth can create seismic waves na nagka-travel doon sa ating sa iba-ibang layers, sa iba pang layers ng Earth. So, hindi lang po yun. Pwede rin siyang uh, because of explosion. So, um, seismic waves can be created by explosions na ginagamit ang mga scientists to study the different layers of the Earth. Yes, para malaman po natin yung loob ng Earth, they use explosives. So, nagpapasabog sila. And yung nakikreate na seismic waves, they're like X-rays no? na lalaman nila kung ano, na lalaman nila mga scientists kung ano yung nasa ilalim ng lupa or nasa ilalim or nasa loob ng mundo using seismic waves as brought about by these explosions. Now, seismic waves have two um, types, no? May dala, or two kinds. There are two kinds of seismic waves. The body waves, the first one, the body waves, and the second one, the surface waves. So from the term itself, body waves are waves that travel through the interior of the Earth. So pag sinabi natin body waves, ito yung seismic wave, no? Ito yung energy wave na nagka-travel sa loob ng Earth. Alright? On the other hand, surface waves are waves that travel on the surface. But let, let us talk about surface waves later. Let us focus first on the body waves. So ano ba yung body waves na yan? Remember, body waves are seismic waves. These are energy waves uh, that travel doon sa loob ng Earth. So ano po ba ang dalawang klase ng body waves? There are two kinds of body waves. We have the primary P waves and the secondary S waves. Okay? So the primary or the P waves or the secondary or the S waves. So what is the difference between the two waves? So let us first talk about the primary waves. So primary primary waves or the P waves are known as the compression waves. No? Bakit compression? Um, let us imagine this block as a block of rock. No? For example, yan yung block ng rock na nasa ilalim ng lupa. Paano ba nakikreate or paano ba nagtatravel yung P wave? So nakikita nyo, there is a compression here. No? Kung susundan nyo, that darker area there na nakikreate there, there, 
this one, ayan, 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 that darker area is a compression. So, there is a compression on, compression of matter. So, parang mag, may siksikan, no? So, yun yung P wave. And take note, guys, that these waves are the fastest seismic waves, no? Siya yung pinakamabilis na seismic wave. Siya yung unang-unang na-detect ng ating mga station, or mga seismic stations, no? Seismic stations are, are recording stations that record or, yun, that uh, um, record seismic waves. So, sila yung nag, uh, sa kanila nakakarating yung seismic, seismic waves at sila rin yung nagre-record ng mga seismic waves. At ang unang-unang dumarating sa kanila ay yung P waves. Now, another characteristic of a P wave is that it can move through solids, to, through liquids and gases. Meaning to say that it can move through solid rocks, even through liquid rocks, no? So, ang paano ba nagkakaroon ng liquid rocks? If rocks are molten, diba? Doon sa ilalim ng lupa. So, as we go deeper, remember that as we go deeper, the temperature becomes higher. Or, pag habang lumalali, mas tumitindi po yung temperature, mas umiinit. Therefore, rocks there become solid, liquids, no? And, of course, they can also travel through gases. The next type of body waves is known as the secondary wave or the S wave. So, bakit siya tinawag na S wave or secondary wave? Because... It is slower than the P wave. So, mas mabagal siya. So, yung unang dumarating is the P wave. And then after that, ang susunod na darating is the S wave. No? So, paano naman siya? Bakit siya trinawag ng transverse wave? Because they move like that. So, if you imagine a coil or a spring, so kapag minove mo siya ng up and down, so yung wave na nakikreate mo, that's like the S wave or the secondary wave. And... Here is the catch. They can only move through solid rocks. They cannot move through liquid rocks or, or even gases. No? Hindi niya kayang mag-travel sa gases. So that's the difference between the primary wave and the secondary wave. Now, let us talk about... So let, now, let us talk about... Remember, body waves are waves that uh, travel through the interior of the Earth. Sa loob lang po siya nagka-travel. So sa, doon sa ilalim ng lupa. Once these waves travel already or umabot na sila, reach the ground, yung surface, kung saan tayo nakapatong, kung saan tayo nakatira. Siyempre, magsisimula yung seismic waves sa breakage or pagkaka-breaking ng rocks sa ilalim ng lupa. Magre-release siya ng seismic waves. Ang unang-unang i-release niya ay mga body waves. Pag umabot po yan sa surface wave, ay sa surface, ang tawag na sa kanila ay surface waves. So these are waves that travel at the surface of the Earth. Alright? Now, there are also two kinds of surface waves. We have the love waves and the rally waves. Okay? So, these waves, remember, these waves are the ones or waves that travel at the surface of the Earth. Okay? So, ito po yung nasa iba mo. Na ito na yung waves na nararamdaman natin. Ito na yung waves na nakakarating sa atin kapag lumilindol. So, let us talk about the first wave, the love wave. So, it has nothing to do with the love, the emotion love. No? It's because of the, 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 the scientist who... Um, studied this kind of surface wave. So, let us talk about the love waves. It moves the ground from side to side. So, nakikita nyo dito sa GIF, it, uh, the ground is moving side to side. So, kapag lumilindol at ang lindol ay paganyan, no? so you're moving from side to side, love waves po yun. Love waves yung nakakarating sa inyo. Yung nararamdaman nyo. And these waves cause the most damage to structures. So, yung mga, nas, yung mga nakikita nyo yung structures na sobrang damage, yung mga buildings, yung mga tulay, yung mga uh, roads na sirang, sobrang sira, most likely, yung klase ng surface wave na nakarating doon ay love waves. No? Mga love waves. Love waves po yun. The other one is the rally waves. So, kung kanina yung yung surface wave, uh, yung yung love waves, it moves the ground from side to side. The rally waves, they move the ground up and down. Okay? So, pag ang lindol, nararamdaman mong lindol is up and down. So, that's rally waves. And most of the shaking, usually, yung mga earthquake na nararamdaman natin, most of them are caused by the rally waves. 